it was September of 2021 when the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court assigned me to preside over the pending investigations uh, involving um, the various offenses that um, you are being investigated for, uh, initially including these financial crimes and um, and the uh, the murder cases. And I have lived with this case now for over two years. And um, I have 34 days left before active retirement. And after uh, imposing this sentence, uh, your life will continue. Uh, I will turn the page and uh, leave you behind. You're quite an, an enigma, uh, a person that many of us thought we knew. Um, and as I stated earlier, I can only recall you as being a fun-loving, happy person. I've never, uh, I've never seen you sad. I've never seen you um, being anything other than a friendly, caring person. And uh, it's so disappointing. Uh, to see you again in this setting. Uh, I believe the last time we saw each other and you were not in jail was at, at a conference when you were poolside having a good time. And as it turns out, that was a couple of months after the passing of your wife and son. Um, but you were having a good time. Uh, made nothing of it and and then the uh, Labor Day weekend events occurred, and um, next thing I know, I'm assigned to preside over all of your matters. Not only your matters, but uh, others as well. And we started out with 100, over 100 charges, indictments against various folks, and uh, we've whittled that down to just a handful um, outstanding and uh, I'm happy to turn the page and turn, uh, not, not turn the remnants over to anyone else, but to certainly turn over anything pending against you to someone else. It's been said that these are white collar offenses. I've never had that distinction. I've never thought of it that way. Uh, I've looked at criminal offenses as criminal offenses. You know, three property crimes in South Carolina, is a, you, you can get 10 years in prison. People have gotten 10 years for shoplifting, third offense. Uh, I've sent people into retirement for committing of criminal offenses over and over and over again. Uh, but I've never thought of it as being a white collar offense. Uh, have had employees do embezzlement, um, church secretary stole money, a preacher stolen money, um, many offenses. Uh, but I didn't never draw a distinction between a, a violent crime uh, and other crimes. Uh, certainly, the law makes a distinction, and uh, many violent crimes are non-parole offenses. Uh, the plea I'm accepting with you, uh, you must serve 85% of the time. The parties have indicated that they are uh, the, the victims uh, to the extent that they can be called victims there. That's my preferred term for, for the group of people who have been preyed upon or victimized, uh, they've all indicated that they would like for the court to accept the negotiated sentence. Uh, it is a, uh, a stern sentence. Um, the question was asked, or what kind of animal are you? Um, are you an enigmatic person? 
I don't know that you understand yourself. Um, what comes to mind is a young man that I sentenced to death penalty for killing a police officer and setting his body on fire. And though personally I was opposed to capital punishment, uh, he was sentenced to death. And in writing up that sentence report, I, I concluded that he was heartless. He was just empty. And when I see you and I listen to you and I reflect on all that I've seen since being appointed, uh, assigned to these cases, uh, you come closest to that young man being empty. I don't see anything. I, I tried to reach you at at sentencing in the other case. Uh, I, I've listened to you here today, um, and I don't I don't see anything there. Hopefully, hopefully something will emerge within your spirit, within your soul. Uh, certainly, um, being a person of your age and intelligence and experience you have a lot to offer to the people that you encounter on a daily basis in the institution and I think it's admirable that you um, you've indicated that you will uh, help them and continue to try to do good uh, by them uh, you'll certainly have a lot of opportunity to do that You know, as we look at it, all of us, you know, none of us are perfect. Um, many of us do things that we shouldn't uh, shouldn't do. Um, it's just unimaginable unimaginable to me that you have done some of the things that you've done, and. Um, whether it's you or someone you become upon using drugs or through the process of, of just committing the crimes over and over, um, over the period of years, uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't even know who I'm speaking to now. Um, but being a person of power and influence and the question is raised of what type of character do you have? Um, a person who would prey upon folks who are vulnerable and uh, who are of a lower perceived estate than you. Um, how you would prey upon those people, people who you say you love and you capitalize on a disparity of, of what you have versus what they had and what they need and what they desired. You know, in my years, I could, I, I know of no greater joy as a lawyer that I've had during my 47 years as a lawyer than the joy of giving of having a satisfied client, of delivering good results for a client and, and experiencing that joy with them. Uh, I, can, I can think of no greater joy um, than I've experienced in, in being able to deliver on behalf of a client. Uh, and I'm sure you've experienced that joy as well uh, until it's until you decided that the only joy you were concerned about was your own. I, I take no joy at all in uh, imposing this sentence, um, but it is what it is. And you'll have to suffer the consequences of your acts continue to suffer the consequences and um, 
and hopefully um, some good will come out of you uh, as, as you move forward. Here, these are, there are a number of counts here, a number of indictments, and you'll get an individual sentence as to each one. On indictment, GS 4727 for money laundering, the sentence is 20 years. Obtaining signature of property by false pretenses, the sentence is 10 years. The second count of obtaining property by false pretenses, count seven, 10 years. Breach of trust with fraudulent intent, value more than $10,000, the sentence is 10 years. Another obtaining property by false pretenses, count an indictment, 4730, count four, sentence is 10 years. Money laundering on indictment, same indictment, count five, sentence is 20 years. Money laundering, count eight of that indictment, the sentence is 20 years. Breach of trust with fraudulent intent, an indictment number 32, count one, the sentence is five years. Money laundering under indictment number 33, count two, the sentence is 20 years. Money laundering under indictment 34, count two, the sentence is 20 years. Forgery, value $10,000 or more under indictment 35, count five, the sentence is 10 years. Computer crimes under indictment 36, the sentence is five years. Breach of trust with fraudulent intent under indictment ending in 37, the sentence is 10 years. All those sentences will run concurrent with, with each other. Money laundering under indictment ending in 38, count two, the sentence is seven years consecutive. to sentences previously stated. Under indictment 01, 4701, breach of trust with fraudulent intent, the sentence is 10 years concurrent. Breach of trust, fraudulent intent under indictment Ending in 02, count one, sentence is 10 years. Under indictment ending in 10, count one, sentence is five years concurrent. Money laundering on the in indictment ending in 23, count three, the sentence is 20 years. And the indictment ending 24, obtaining goods under false pretenses, the sentence is 10 years. A willful intent to evade or defeat uh, payment of taxes under indictment 34, Sentences five years concurrent. You have one 20 year sentence and a consecutive seven year sentence for a total sentence of 27 years. Um, most of the offenses pled to are serious offenses under the law. 
right. subjects you to this three strikes law. You are given credit for time served pursuant to section 24.13.40 to be calculated by the South Carolina Department of Corrections. I think that completes the sentence. Anything further regarding this sentence? Your Honor, just for clarification, um, and I think the sentencing sheets reflect this, but he's got all those sentences concurrent for 20, yes. and then there's one seven-year consecutive sentence. So he's got a 27-year sentence, 85% parole yes. eligible, I mean, max out. Yes. Right. And it's reflected on the sentencing sheet. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Any comment about that, Mr. Waters or Mr. That is correct, Your Honor. <clears throat> there's 20 years at 85%, and then a seven at 85%. Uh, and again, those are no parole offenses, meaning uh, that he's got 85%. Right. Or more, depending on how he behaves. And that's the Senate of the Court. Mr. Murdoch, any final comments? No, sir. I will just reiterate what I did say to all of you. Thank you, Your Honor. <coughs> right. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, Your Honor, and enjoy being with you. Yes, sir. Very well. Um, enjoyed being with you as well. <laughs>